friends, welcome to another session of You Need to Read These, a series where we talk about cool titles and happenings in the young adult section of the Grand Rapids Area Library. This week, we're going to be talking about some nonfiction books that have helpful skill tips for household tasks like cooking, sewing, and organizing. These are important things to know as you get older and become more independent. So first up is a selection of cookbooks. Has anyone in your family ever said, hey, it's your turn to make dinner? And then you're like, oh boy, now what do I do? Well, have we got some books for you. This one, the How To Cookbook for Teens, 100 Easy Recipes to Learn the Basics by Julie Morrison, really breaks down what you need to do. It starts with how to organize your workspace, how to measure accurately, and even how to use a knife if you have to do some chopping. There's recipes for breakfast, soup, salads, solo, and family meals. The nice thing about this book is all of the ingredients are available at your local store, so you could go to Super One or even Aldi. And there's different recipes for gluten-free, dairy-free, vegetarian, and even vegan. So next up is sewing. And we're not necessarily talking about making a whole outfit, although you could do that. The book I'm going to show you now is about more of the basics. So this one is called Mend It Better by Kristen Roach. And it starts with what you need to have in a mending kit. So let's say you have to put on a button. Well, this is going to help show you what you're gonna to need to have. You probably need to have a needle, some thread, maybe some pins, so it all starts with the mending kit. And then from there, there's lots of different chapters about different kinds of things that you might have to do. Like, like I said, putting on buttons or putting a patch, maybe over a hole in your jeans, um, hand stitching, and even decorating stitching. Now the cool thing about this book is there are lots of pictures and there are step-by-step -step instructions for each thing that you might need to do. Okay, so the last topic for today is organizing. I know I need to organize some stuff at my house and even in my cubicle at work. Sometimes I need to spend a little bit of time doing some organizing. So I'm gonna show you a book that can help you kind of get your stuff in order. This one is called Where's My Stuff? It's the Ultimate Teen Organizing Guide and it's by Samantha Moss. Now, what you're gonna learn in this one is how to organize your school stuff, and that includes digital, your digital life, um, any documents you might have. Um, also, time and activities, and one part of that is deadlines. How do you meet a certain deadline? What do you need to do? What steps do you have to take? And the last thing that you can learn how to organize is your room. The nice thing about this book is there are lots of graphics with checklists and different aids to help guide you through your organizing process. All right, so in future episodes, we're going to talk more about nonfiction titles that help you learn how to do all kinds of useful things. There'll be fishing, hunting, drawing and writing poetry, and understanding finances and even budgeting. As always, stop in the library to see what we have on the shelves. And if you need some help, don't be afraid to ask the librarian. Hey, see you next time.